check that out oh man wow you see the scales and the prints oh look at that wow back to another adventure of miners prospectors and rock counters and if you're new to my channel welcome i am diamond miner ivans i hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe you found the real deal real adventure real digs in this video we're just going to be walking around ammonite creek here in texas north texas this creek is loaded with fossils and ammonites and hopefully we can see some more of the scaly type creatures that i found here recently so be sure and drop a thumbs up, share this video out. Ever wondered what a biscuit looked like floating down a creek? Now you know. And right here I noticed one, right there, that I missed the other day. This one should come up a lot easier. You can already see where it's starting to lift up. So I'm gonna work on this and see if it's a complete ammonite. Okay, here we go. Oh, cool. Got some good detail. Got some mud right there. But yeah, that's a big one right there. That thing's heavy. Can't wait to carry this back to my truck. Grief. Cool. Came up though. Got some really good detail. See right there. Might be able to chisel that off. Might be able to work some of that off. Definitely got some really good. I just can't believe all this. something right there not sure what that could be hang on to that one it's been about a week since I've been out here and found the fish fossil and as you can see the water has gone down a lot there's a couple uh, pieces of an ammonite right here there's one there's one And I was hoping I would find another one of these vertebrae looking type fossils. And I thought this was one right here, but it's not. If it was, it's broken. But not far from that, I noticed that right there. I 
Well, you know, it's uh, kind of looks like those. Maybe it's just the way this one's formed. It's kind of flattens out. Very, very weird. There is no telling what's in all of this. There's just so many rocks. There's an imprint. Ooh, look at this. Did I find a sand dollar? One of the giant sand dollars? Come on. Man, this just has some, oh, just that right there kind of threw me off, these two marks. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a huge sand dollar, fossilized. Here's something. I thought it was like a footprint of a bird. Ugh. Definitely some type of bone. Yeah, that looks like a bone. I'm now around the uh, first bend of the creek, about to jump over to the good spot. And right here, I noticed a small ammonite right there sticking out of the concrete matrix. Just right up from it. Looks like we might have an ammonite sticking out. Yep. There's something right there. Of course, it's broken. The stuff on top. Not good to pull them out like that, but. broken uh, yep that's all there is just a piece of one get over here and I... oh gosh whoa man that's getting rough But we have made it over here. I want to go back to where that fish. Yeah, I'm just surface hunting today. Here is the large ammonite that I've been hammering on, that I've been using the uh, RD1. Been chipping at that for hours. And who knows, it may never break free from that rock. So all that for nothing is what I'm starting to decide. I'm gonna go check out the spot where I found that fossilized prehistoric fish. To me, it's some type of fish. And see if there's any other type of artifacts that I might have left. To me, it was like it was face down. So there could be some more of that fossil a little bit deeper. I was so excited that day. I kind of over thought to keep digging around and pick up everything. I picked up what I could see. But you almost got to spend some time to... Oh, here's an ammonite. We might have already looked at that one. Broken up. Let's see, the fish... Yeah, where was that? Uh, my next problem is where was that? It's been about a week. God, I don't think it was this far, but... Yeah, it's not this far. Ah, oh, great. I don't know where it went. Looks like some bone right here. I have lost that spot where that fish. I made it across to the other side further up the creek and I just saw my first snake of the year 
Looks like some type of grass snake. It's underneath that rock. I'm gonna put the camera under there, maybe you see the snake. there pretty good size ammonite size of a lawnmower tire Ooh, there's a nice one right there check that one out cool here's one oh here's one lots of them over here oh, it's just so heavy that thing weighs a ton that's gonna weigh a ton but this one right here might break free all right now there are snakes out I need to be careful underneath all these rocks picking them up be a poisonous snake oh it's in the uh, it's attached pretty good to that mud gonna need RD1 for that one chisel it out Let's see if we can't find anything on the surface that we can carry out of here. Man, those things are heavy. Headed up one of these channels that feeds into the creek not sure what we got here hey there's a little tiny grasshopper but right here I noticed something along oh notice something long and round that could be one of those things off the shrimp that's kind of cool not sure what that is. Wow, what's this? Oh, it's a broken one and it's huge. Man, that's off an ammonite. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Here's a small one. First I saw this piece of one and then this one right here I noticed. Oh neat. Wow that's a neat one right there. It's just perfectly in half. Almost to the water and I noticed it looks like some type of coffee mug or a cup. I don't know if it's a complete. Nope. I think it's a bowl. Piece of a bowl, maybe. There we go. Here's something. Piece of one. There's a fossil. Oh. There's a little bitty ammonite. I'm going to keep that. I may give some away to my Patreons. It's like, where are these small ammonites? I mean, I just don't see them in this gravel ever. Of course, I'm looking for the bigger ones, but you would think you'd spot the small one. Oh, here we go. Check that out. Oh, man, that is like perfectly rounded. Nice little ammonite. Unreal. Check that out. Look at this. Something there, maybe. And right here, 
It's got some eyeballs. Cool. Found another small ammonite. This looks like a heart. Eh, not really. From a distance. Cool. Ooh, check out that huge shell. Man, that's a record. I have found several of these, but not that big. Man, it's a massive clam. Where's the pearl? Holy smokes. That's cool. Put that in there. There you go. That's cool. Oh yeah, nice one. I do not remember that tree being there. What do we have here? Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's the one with the two ammonites. We've seen it before in the videos. There may be three there. I think there's three in that. Maybe that little piece of one. Nice imprint. Oh, check that out. That's a nice one just to take. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Put some weight to the backpack though. Man. Here's one in the water. Looks to be damaged. Yep. Leave it in the water. I think 30 pounds. I probably won't leave this one here too. If you want this one, let me know. Leave a comment. I might come back and get it. And right here looks like an ammonite. Let's flip it over. Oh, not the best one. It's kind of filled with the mud not much detail I've got a long hike back to the truck about to get out of here on this side and head back towards the starting point and I'm walking back where I've already looked I see something right here oh man it's a big one it's full of mud and not much detail. I can see that right there. That that showed me it was an ammonite. Just a lot of extra mud. That weighs about I don't know, 30 pounds. Backpack. It's uh, this uh, strap has broken. This one's still going. I got some weight in it right now. So far, everything we've got, it's about a 50 pound, 40 pounds. All right, almost back to the crossing. Thought I would check along this inside where I didn't look when I was coming in. And right here, we have a nice, if I can get under there, a half of one. Flip it over, oh yeah, cool. Good detail on that one. All right, that's not too bad. I can carry that one back with everything else. Oh, I dropped one. Back on the other side. 
And right off the bat, got something here. Mm. No good. I might have found some more of that fossilized fish, if not a different one, right there. Check that out. Oh man, wow, you see the scales and the prints. Oh, look at that, wow. Awesome, man. Another piece of the scaly creature. Yes, wow, this is really cool, man. This thing has been tumbling down in all these rocks. And I can't even find the location where I dug up that fossilized fish. It hasn't even rained since I found it. And there's just no sign of where I dug that thing up. This is getting really weird. But yes, this is awesome. And, oh, I don't want to touch that part. I really don't need to be touching any of this one. See how fragile it is? Split right there. I need to go put that in my backpack right now. Just come back over here and look for some more of it. Man, I have to just put that right there and... Whoa. That is so crazy. Another piece. And here's a better look at the fish head. And you can see right there, the jaw and the teeth showing right there. Incredible discovery. I just can't believe these three-dimensional fossils are being found at this location. Just look at that. Incredible. A 3D fish fossil head. And it's got a really good crack right there I have to be very careful with this piece you can see it's cracked up pretty good it's extremely old those teeth just I just can't stop looking at them Here's another side of the fish head. See some scales. Here's the front of it. Give you an idea what that looks like. Like the lower jaw is missing. not far from the scaly fossil that we just found again we found another one of this looks like an ammonite right here oh yeah it's a nice small one. Ooh, look at this whoa look at that kind of like what i've been looking for but it's like not but this is really cool Pretty good stuff over here. I can just get some more of that fish. I mean, if there's one of those that I found, there's got to be more coming out of that matrix slash ancient mud that's hardened to. Hey, looky here. A heart shaped rock. I find these just about every time I go out rock hounding. No joke. We've got probably a hundred. Oh, and underneath the ammonite, we have another one. That's a heart. And that one kind of looks like one.
lots of heart shaped rocks out the hill lots and lots Y'all aren't going to believe this next find. Here we go. That's right. A golf ball. True blue. Number four. And not too far from the last one. It's not a golf ball, I promise. Check that one out. Oh, nice. Another small one. Cool. I like these small ones. It's not bad on the detail. Definitely got detail on both sides, which is good. And not a whole bunch of mud attached. Sweet. I've walked over that thing probably four or five times. That's why it's always a good idea to go back and walk at different angles. And you'll see things that you missed, hopefully. Back at the lab, I got everything that I found laid out on the table here. Let's take a look at everything. Here's the big ammonite I was able to remove from the mud, that concrete. And I was able to get a lot of this off this was really caked on and i was able to chip some of that off without damaging the ammonite but this one is really heavy you just see the detail it's a very heavy ammonite check out that detail right there here's the other side very cool here are the smaller ammonites. Really cool. The heart shaped rocks. Here's that huge clam. Be looking for that pearl next trip. Broken pieces of ammonites. And here's that weird looking uh, fossil. And another strange one for sure. A fossilized fish head. There's the teeth. This is the coolest fossil I've ever found. A 3D fossil head fish fossil head well that's it here at ammonite creek we found several ammonites, fossils, and I can't believe I found another fossil that has the fish scales. So that was really cool to find another one of those just on the surface. I'd like to thank all my Patreons and YouTube supporters that have joined my YouTube channel. You just click that blue button and you can pick whichever level you want to join at and you'll receive perks just like my Patreons receive. If you'd like to see more videos here at Ammonite Creek, be sure and leave a comment. Let me know. Until next time, take care, everybody. Happy digging. And remember, be a 100% digger.